Good morning and welcome to our show. This morning, you guys, we have the pleasure of chatting it up with fellow Team XND leaders, Michaela and Antonio. Growing up in rough places made things difficult for the young couple, regardless of their talent, with Antonio being an ex-college athlete. But because they knew that they wanted to make a difference in the world, they kept their eyes open for opportunities. After a devastating event back in 2019, they came across an opportunity and decided to go all in. And since then, they've been on a mission to serve, help, and lead others with integrity while building a life that they're proud of. Michaela and Antonio, welcome to the show. This is so exciting. <laughs> Thanks here. so much for having us. Like this is the best way to start off Friday. And I don't know, like Erin and Sarit, you guys are just professionals in what you guys do. And to see this community just pour in first thing in the morning, it's like a testament. You know what I mean? That's that's some powerful stuff right there. That's you guys, baby. All of y'all. That is you guys. So you guys, you know, the first thing that I would love to know is I feel like we're going to get like very deep today, but in order for us to know where we're going in life, it's really important to understand where we come from. So tell us a little bit about your, your upbringing and how did you guys meet? You want to start? Ladies first. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I grew up in Huntington Beach, California. I grew up in this industry actually as a second generation distributor. And I watched how this industry just completely changed my family. Um, so I was always open to this opportunity of building community and entrepreneurship from a very early age. Like I wanna say probably six years old was like the first time I ever did a, um, I was not did, but I would, I would go with my dad and he would go to all kinds of booths and be selling products and you know, community was always following him. So I was really in tune with the entrepreneurial spirit and starting businesses when I was, you know, a little kid. So this was in my spirit. Um, and we were in a previous company, um, did not know each other yet. And my parents were, you know, involved in that company. He was speaking on stage at our leadership kind of conference. And he bumped into me. I thought it was on accident, but it definitely wasn't. <laughs> he had a plan. So <laughs> he went after that plan and he bumped into me that day. And the rest is pretty much history. We were just super aligned in what we were passionate about. And we knew that we had good hearts and that, you know, we were just genuine people that wanted to make a difference. And it was kind of like one of those things that were like, how do we fill this, um, this need to help others like in our heart, you know what I mean? And then once we started helping people win, it was like just the best feeling to know that like something we were passionate about was making a difference in people's homes. So we started doing it in separate teams together in our previous company. And then we kind of just grew to be this partnership. Um, and then now with X Endurance, we have our team together. Um, and it's just, it's the most rewarding job in the world, really, to be able to say like, you know, we can get down and dirty with people in their problems for every little solution, every issue we're there, no matter what, you know what I mean? So it's just really humbling and it's an honor to be a part of something like this. So sorry, I could talk forever, but. No, my, <laughs> mine is a little different, or I'd say a lot different. I'm from Oakland, Oakland, California. If you know anything about the Bay Area, Oakland. Um, it was rough, you know, only three things that was glorified in my neighborhood was the streets and drugs, uh, playing ball, becoming a rapper. You know, like my, my big homies wouldn't let me in the streets because that's where my dad, you know, kind of lived, um, you know, and, and went to prison when I was eight years old. I wasn't a rapper, you know, I'll leave that to Lonnie. Um, so I, I got out the hood on a football scholarship to Utah State. That's how I ended up in Utah. I went to um, Utah State, played four years. and. Um, all I was taught was go to school, get a good education, get a good job. You know what I'm saying? And so I did that, but it wasn't enough. So when ball was over about eight years of my life, I was lost. I was in the clubs, you know, doing all the, the negative things that you can think out there. But I always had this heart and passion for people. And I surrounded myself with, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all um, understand this, the party friends, right? The, the party friends, we're only getting messed up. We only having fun when we drink and party. 
right? And um, they didn't really add value to where I wanted to go. Um, so I'm looking at social media and people just traveling and all of this stuff. And I'm working two jobs, six days a week. And I'm like, man, there's more to life to this. Like it, it gotta be more to life. Like look at these people traveling. And um, I called my godfather, that's the person who raised me. He was my pastor. Um, and I was like, I need more out of life. I don't know what it is. I know I need a change. I know I need something positive in my life. I don't know where, I know it's something that's gonna happen. I don't know where, when, or how. Um, and he introduced me to um, a drink called Spark. And I'm just like, man, what the hell? I don't wanna drink. Like I need more out of life. And he was like, no, there's a, a business attached to this drink. Um, I don't know much about it, but I want you to call this person and um, and talk to him more about it. And I was like, oh man, but I knew if, you know, I couldn't, can be skeptical and broke, right? And so I called the number and he introduced me to Avocare and I fell in love with the company, you know? And I got to a point to where I was like, this can be, this can add so much value um, in my life from, uh, from, a, from a health standpoint and then once I felt good, I was like, damn, everybody need to feel this, you know, like it, it's something like everybody need to feel it. So I started talking to everybody, um, start having some success in AvoCare, which led me to speaking on the stage, right? And 17,000 people in Dallas Cowboys Stadium, I, I had anxiety, but I was like, I'm gonna do this, right? Like, this is what I wanna do. And so uh, once I got off stage, um, I saw, this woman uh, across just is 17,000 people. And so I purposely <laughs> bumped into her and um, I turned around, we locked eyes and I was just like- He was literally what? like, like I, I'll never forget. Like I, I was just like, he was like, like like a Romeo and Juliet scene where he's just like, and I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm you like, know? sorry, right? <laughs> sorry I bumped into you, I'm, I'm sorry. And, um, and then I was like, and then I lost her and I'm like, I like I walked go away. Back. I'm like, sorry, you know. I gotta I'm go like... back and get her, right? So I'm weaving, weaving through people, and um, and I'm like, hey, do I know you? And she just like, no, you don't know me, really, <laughs> you know. Um, and ever since then, uh, like I slid in the DMs, and ever since then, it was it's just history. It was a wrap. We, we talked that was every it. day. <laughs> That's all it took. Um, <laughs> and, and now she's living in Utah. So that was the deal. That yeah. is that is smooth. Yeah, he it, was like, it was. Guy. And oh, I, so check this out. Her her dad, yeah, <laughs> her dad was there. So I met the dad and the mom on the first day. First day. Um, yes. he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, saw you on stage, and I met you last year. I was like, no, I didn't meet you last year. It, it was my mentor. I guess we all look alike, the beard and all of that stuff. But um, you know, the the connection with the dad uh, was day one. Um, but I slid in the DMs and um. It was just a wrap after that, you know, like she was going to Alabama at yep, the time. I was just um, about to graduate from University of Alabama. So we were long distance too, which is a totally different ball game too for anybody who's experienced that. But we were running our, I was running my own business in college. So I totally did this on accident. And it was such a vehicle for me to just immerse myself coming from a college you know, party scene, just wanted to have fun. And it, it just switched my mindset. Everything was about um, who I surrounded myself with and health. And then it was amazing how it was kind of like leading me and prepping me to meet this man. And then we, then I'm in college and he's in Utah. And it was just like everything I needed to propel me right when I graduated to just be in the kind of space where I already had that community. Um, and the relationship was very mature, very quickly, because we were having authentic conversation like this, you know, it wasn't about, um, you know, I was looking at so many people with their relationships and the things they were talking about, the things they were doing didn't align with what we were doing and what we were talking about. And that kind of takes us to the next level of we had to elevate quickly and we had a tribe of people that were like, okay, you're either for us or you're not for us. And we had like a specific target. And when we met that target, we realized we were like, we need to stand in this because we have something going here. You know what I mean? Like we have community. Um, and these people are just like elevating us and it's what we need in our relationship. So yeah, it just kind of took us to the next level as a couple, but in our business as well. So 
I love that. Now, for those of you guys listening, you know, please type in the comments. You know, I think for anybody who is very entrepreneurial mindset, it's like, it doesn't matter where you've come from or what you're currently going through. Like, you just feel like you're, you're meant to do bigger, greater things. And you're like, I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but I just know it. If you feel like you're one of those people, go ahead and type, this is me. Like where you just feel, you're like, there's something in me that tells me I can do something great and I'm supposed to do something great. And I have no idea what that means, but I feel different. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I want to... Uh, mentioned something that you said really quickly you said it and I'm like oh that's so powerful so I want to emphasize it is you were like I can't be skeptical and broke oof you said it so quick and I'm like zit because you like I and I know it's so easy to be skeptical in this industry specifically like ridiculous right anybody reaches out to us I'm like what do you want <laughs> you know so I think we all kind of have that, but you give yourself no opportunity if you're not open-minded and you stay stuck if you're not open-minded, you know? So it's that like, you know, give people a chance, give, give people an opportunity so you can give yourself a chance and an opportunity. Right. Because you have to have an open heart, open mind. You know, I'm a receiver. I play receiver. You can't, you can't receive if you're not open. Right. You know, I don't know if all you football fans out there, but I play receiver. You cannot receive if you're not open. And I got to a point to where I was like, you know what, like something got to give, you know, and I was just so used to, um, you know, Oakland mentality and, and I didn't know any different, you know, like, so it, it was, and, and as a man, um, when you get to a place like this, you know, you kind of feel less of, you know, it's like, man, I, I feel less of a man because I'm not where I feel like I should be right now and um and i don't want to feel that way i have two young boys um you know at the time and i was like they don't deserve this you know i have to create something better for them and um you know and i saw um friend ask when was this this was uh 2018 um where when, when we met it was uh february 2nd deuce day deuce if, if y'all don't know my name is deuce antonio penham in a second we met on deuce day 2 2 um 18 and it's a significant meaning behind that date as well. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. So one thing that you guys both talked about is um, the power of your network. For you, Antonio, it was your pastor who was, you mentioned your mentor. Um, and Michaela, for you, you said that you had a network um, that taught you some skills when, you know, you were just in college and you were just starting out and you didn't know anything. You guys, can you share with us, you know, just your opinion real quick with regards to um, the value of your connections and the environment that you surround yourself in? Ooh, you go first? Yes. Uh, whoo, my mentor, um, Karan Reeves at the time, he he introduced me to this industry um, where I was like, man, this is, this is very much different than what I'm used to. So he was like, Hey, you got to get to success school, you know? And this is like um, the summit of X and D. Right. And so I didn't know what the hell I was getting into. He was like, just get off of work. I'm going to buy your ticket. I'm going to pay for your food. I got a hotel for you, everything, right? And I'm just like, where am I going? You know, like he, he didn't really prep me uh, for it, but he was like, you just got to be in a room. You got to be in a room. You got to feel it. I can tell you about it, but you got to, you, you have to be there. And so um, we flew to Dallas, Texas. And when I walked in that room, it was 30,000 people at the time. It was like 30,000 people at the time. And everybody was just dancing and happy and the energy. And I was like wait a minute, I ain't, never, I ain't never been to a place like this with this many people and it's not a fight, it's not gunshots, right? It's, it's like, it, it, it was crazy. Where I'm from, it's like when you get so many people in there, it's, it's, some, it's some type of problem, but the energy in there was crazy. Um, and I got around people, I got around people that were doing it, you know, instead of just talking about it, talking about what they're gonna do. I got around people that were doing it and that forced me to level up, 
you know, um, just the people I was around, the books I started to read, the music I started to listen to. I mean, I still listen to my gangster stuff sometimes, you know, it's just like the, the energy, but you know, when you, you know, when you need to turn it on and turn it off, um, you know, and, and where you going in the focus level, but the mentorship, um, it got me into, um, it got me into so many like programs and, um, in seminars and just around people that were doing it. And it just changed my life. You know, it, it changed everything. So I, as uh, soon as I got back from uh, the summit, I put all my party friends in a group chat and I told them, I said, hey, I love y'all, no love lost, but this is where I'm taking my life in a different direction. You know, like all we do is party and, you know, all of this stuff. And some people were receptive. They were like, okay, you know, I understand. And some people just didn't reply. But I knew where, you know, they stood in, in my life um, and where I wanted to go. And ever since I got rid of them, my life just went, you know, I started seeing, seeing things. I was like, okay, this is exactly where I need to go. So for a long time, I was real stagnant. So I was just still, I was still. And then once I started moving forward, everything started to come to me. So every time I'm moving forward, it's like a video game. You take a character and you start moving forward, you start seeing different things, right? So every time I was moving forward, I started meeting the people. And I'm just like, you get to a point to where he's like, damn, man, is this real? You know, everything that I was praying for and hoping for is happening right now, right? And you don't really believe it. But then I got to a point, I was like, you know what? This is exactly, you know, what I was praying for, what I was hoping for. Um, what these people are coming into my life for. And I just started meeting the people that I needed to meet. And um, with the mentorship, it really just took everything to another level. Everybody need one. I don't care what level you're at. You need somebody that's going to give you a different perspective, you know, on, on what you're going through. I mean, right now, that, that person is Lonnie. You know, for me, um, for the longest time, I built this business single. You know, now that I'm in a relationship, everything changes, right? Like I can no longer uh, do those single things or, you know, cause I'm, I mean, no, not trying to, you know, do all of this, but I'm a handsome young man that know where I'm going, right? So I attract, you know, I attract a lot of women, you know, but women run this business, you know, no offense, Lonnie, like women run, they, they run the world, okay? Um, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't even be here right now, but, um, but just understanding how to build this uh, this business together instead of you know uh, in single, but the mentorship really took everything to the next level, and it's going to continue to do that. Yeah, and I think that you know something that you said too. Like as as you're talking, I was just thinking about like this man has changed so much since I first met him. Like. And to see like how he got around like mentorship and how he duplicated their system. It's kind of like um, when you see somebody and you're like, I want what you have, like, what are you doing? And you're like, when you're like, you're either gonna make a move when you're either desperate or inspired. And most of the time you're desperate and you need a change. And that was me. And like, I was always the girl that was like, I had a great family, had a great upbringing. We come from two different worlds but I had a really hard time believing in myself. I knew I had a gift, right? Like, like that question we, we just covered, like I felt like I was different. I felt like I was called for more, but I didn't know how to unlock that um, just disbelief, disbelief I didn't have in myself. So I really, I didn't have a mentor, but I had a lot of people that I would look to every time I'd go to these events. And I was like, just put me in the room, put me that like five minutes of their time. I'm going to prove to them to invest in me. Like, let me show you that like, I'm, I'm worth putting some time into. And these people didn't profit off of me. I literally reached out on my own time. Um, and what happened was I just, I took little nuggets of what they were doing. I saw like one girl was like in her young twenties coming out of college was making six figures. I saw another girl who was literally like all of her financial debt completely paid off by the time she was like in her later 20s too. So I found these girls, I found more people that just, you know, their integrity aligned. I started doing this industry because I wanted to lose some weight. And to be honest with you, every time I would work out, it became a mental battle where I was like, where's your integrity, integrity, Michaela? 
Why can't you finish this workout? You know, why can't you follow through with what you said you were going to do? And so it started making me look into myself and it was kind of just aligning me with the kind of mentors that I needed to be following. And then now fast forward to, you know, this, I wouldn't have been prepared to receive this relationship if I wouldn't have had that mentorship. So it's kind of like, having enough belief in your heart where you're like, I'm called for more. I might not see it yet. I might not see the people coming my way, but I have to stand in this truth that I am more and I'm meant for something greater and that I'm going to attract that as I go through this journey. Mm -hmm. um, because it kind of came to a point where I was like, I don't believe in myself. I don't believe myself. And it wasn't mm -hmm. that confidence isn't, it's not just like a, a decision you can make like right away. Like, Confidence is something that's like a result that you have to work at every single day. And that was something I started like, I remember one of my mentors was like, I'm going to believe in you until you believe in you. So you can do that for somebody else. And when she said that to me, it literally changed my life because now I could offer belief to somebody else. And when you make, like when you have somebody get a win, like just a girl saying like, Hey, I lost 10 pounds. Do you know what that means to me? Like I'm a mom that can't like, that hasn't felt confident or, you know, I'm a, I'm a little, you know, college student who's broke and can't afford to, to fill my tank of gas. Like those little wins gave me so much confidence and purpose too. So, you know, I could go on about this topic forever, but like a mentor and getting people that, that have what you want, like getting in the room with those people is so important. So that's kind of what we did separate but that also brought us together so speaking of um speaking of not believing in herself that was the first question i asked her when i slid in the dms i didn't even say hi you know like nice to meet you he like hit the I nail said, on the I head said, and i was like I said, do you <laughs> fully believe in yourself you know what i'm saying because you can just see like you can just see from the post and I, and and, and was she like was just like, like she was shocked like just punched her in the face and her bit her the the stars was around her head like a cartoon <laughs> she was like like nobody ever asked me that before you know and that was that kind of opened up everything you know for us and it was just like those conversations those hard conversations because when you have a beautiful person um like I saw it from the inside, you know, but you know, a lot of, a lot of little girls that grow up and they'd be like, Oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. You you know, they don't say, Oh, you're, you're smart. You know, you're, you're like all of, all of these things that a little girl need to hear instead of you're pretty. And so when they grow up, it's just like, Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you're pretty. You know, Oh, you're not pretty. I'm not going to hang out with you. Um, you know, so it was, I felt like it was that, especially growing up in Huntington Beach. I don't know if y'all know about the Huntington Beach way, but it's real fake. Like it's real, like <laughs> it's real materialistic. And yeah. you know, I'm I'm from Oakland to where it's just like, look, if 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 it if it look and smell like shit, it's shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how you what you put over it, I don't care what <laughs> perfume you put on, like we going straight to it. So it's like I'm I'm real like raw and uncut when it comes to stuff like this, and I saw it. And it, it just opened up a whole new world when, you know, actually I was like, why, why don't you fully believe in yourself? And she was like, and she was like, oh, it's so many other girls in, in there and, you know, all of he these people in there. Like, I was like, so, I was you're like, you're so beautiful. And no, I was like, oh, there's like plenty it, of, I, you know, I said, your, I said, your, your spirit is beautiful. You know, like I felt it. And, and she was just like, oh, there's so many other girls in here. I said, I'm not worried about any of those girls. I'm talking about you. Right. And that's what a lot of people do. It's like you get in a room full of women. Oh, my God, you're so this, you're so that. It's like, what about you? And then you give them a compliment and they're like, oh, no, you know, so it's like really believing in yourself first you was know? Literally, and then everything else happens. We, our episode yesterday, I was literally just talking about how we downplay what we're good at and what we're what, what's good about us. Yeah. I, have a, I have a couple questions because I want to know from you guys. You guys said so many things, but this is for everybody listening and watching. Okay, first of all, inspired by Antonio. How many of you have put somebody in the back seat recently when he sent that group message to his friend? How many put somebody? One, two, three, four. You know five, what Mel six. Williamson told me yesterday? That was brilliant. I, I got to quote her. She said, they're not going in the backseat. They're going in the back trailer because I don't want to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's Yo. people, there's people who there's people who can go in the backseat and there's people who you just leave on the side of the road. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying yep. there's all the, all the degrees. It just depends. But then my other question is how many of you guys in this room listening right now had somebody believe in you before you believed in yourself? Raise your hand. There's a lot of hands. And how many of you would love to believe in somebody else so that they can believe in themselves? Same hands. That's powerful. It's so powerful. I'm so stoked that you guys are here. This is amazing. In case anybody's confused, we're talking about network marketing. We're, That's yeah, the industry. I'm, I'm about okay. to transition into that. I'm like, I just realized maybe maybe people are like, what industry? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, let's let's talk a little bit about your your mission and also your own personal, professional, and financial goals. And, you know, um, since we are on the top, we are transitioning to network marketing. I want to put it out there because right now in this world, this is what happens. Most people are on this side where they're like, don't do network marketing. It's a, it's a, it, it, it's a scam. It's a pyramid scheme, which it is. Um, blah, blah, blah. Like a scheme, talking a all scheme the, is a scheme. A pyramid is a pyramid. They're two completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just whatever so like the haters and then there's the ones who are like going into it with an open heart open mind and you know a few of them are actually like massive action takers with an open heart open mind and you know literally are extremely successful on like global degrees just you know um from your experience being in network marketing you know just give us the 101 like you know, for anybody who doesn't know, maybe they've heard their aunt, oh, honey, don't do this, like blah, 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 or, but I'm kind of curious, like, yeah, I think there, there's people on the one side that are like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to crush it, whatever. Then there's the people that are like, I've had a really bad experience or I've heard something really negative. So, you know, screw that. And then there's the people that are like in the middle where they're open-minded, but they're like, it's not for me. Right. So um, for you guys, what was the opportunity that you saw and, and the rest of I'm freedom for me, I was working two jobs, six days a week with two kids at home, you know? So it was like, I can work all of these hours and make this money to take care of these kids, but I don't see them. Right. Or I can spend time with my kids and not make any money. Yeah. Right. So the opportunity for me was like, okay, time freedom. I want to buy back some of my time. So once I start getting into it, my first check was like $13, you know, and I was like, oh, this is $13 that I didn't have, right? So, and I wasn't intentional with it. It was just somebody <laughs> went to my site and ordered some stuff and I didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, Cause I didn't get into this business for the, I, I didn't get into this industry for the business. Like I needed something for my wellness, right? And then once I start getting intentional, I remember sitting up, it was like three o'clock in the morning and I had my son um, he was sleeping on me and I had my notebook and I'm writing down names crying. I'm writing down all of these names of people that I'm gonna reach out to. And I was like, this is gonna, you know, set us free, right? And so I started getting intentional and then $13 turned into $100, $100 turned into $200, $300, $400. And it got to a point to where I can get rid of one of my jobs, you know, and I can only work one job, which freed up some of my time, right? And now I'm in a position, I'm not financially like stable to where I'm just like, oh, just, I can just get rid of all my jobs and, you know, um, but I'm in a position where I have so much, I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday through Thursday, I can do whatever the hell I want. Um, but it took, it took really believing in this and locking arms and, 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 and believing in adding value to people, because it's like, when you look at this, this is for everybody. Right, because all we we're, all we're doing is adding value to people. I would do this for free. Like what I'm doing is taking care of myself, and I'm showing people how to get healthy and feel good. Right, I would do this for free, but they're paying us for it. So it's it's what you do with that money, right? It's not all the money that you have is what you're doing with it. So now I'm in a transition of, um, you know, I'm in a position where I can do what I want right now but we still have a lot of work to do within, within this uh, business. Um, but the opportunity for me was the time freedom. 
you know, and that's going to change. That's going to change. Every time you, you know, you hit a certain goal, it's always going to change. Like I know a lot of people who say, hey, let me just get some groceries. You know, let me just pay for my gas. You know, let me just pay for some extra stuff or something for my kids. And then that stuff changed once you get that. It's like, oh, wait a minute. I can start chipping away at some debt, you know? And then once the debt is gone, it's like, oh, I can start saving to, you know, buy a house, you know, or whatever it is that you want to do but you have to, you know, sit down and write those goals and, and and see what it looks like for you, not for anybody else, but for you. So uh, the time freedom was was very important for me. Um, I, I'm not a materialistic guy. I don't spend money on myself. I spend money on others. Um, but to add value to people is a win win. And, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. So um, right now we're just we're just looking to build a life for our for ourselves and really just lead the way in couples and just show them how it's done. Um, but the time freedom was key for me. Yeah. And I think that's something that's, you know, this, this man, like coming from where he came from and the desperation of it all, like, I think I was more desperate um, from a wellness standpoint and just wanting to, you know, feel really good, but I wasn't desperate, like, in a financial situation where I was like, I have to hustle or I like, I'm going to have two jobs and I'm not going to see my kids. Right. So my operating system was a little bit different. Um, and, and like, if you know this man, like he won't boast about it, but he hustles all day long. Like mm -hmm. there really is no like shut off time with this man because he knows where he was and he could easily get back there. So when you're like aligned, like with where you've been and where you're going, you don't want to go back. So it's like, you're always moving forward. You're always doing those steps to just, you know, do what, what do what you can with the day. You know what I mean? So yes, for me, it was more of an inspirational thing for at least the financial freedom of the whole thing. But what I loved was like, I was in a room filled, like I knew that there were people out there. I knew that there were entrepreneurs. I knew that there were people that had what I wanted, but I never was able, like the community is part of the way they pay you in these businesses because you'll never, I, I can't just go into the world and like immerse myself in a culture like this. I couldn't find an Aaron and Sari just like on the street, unless it was like some magical universe thing where someone was put in front of me. But you know what I mean? Like we're having conversation right now because of this industry. And that is a part of what pays you. And that is truly what took me to the next level. That's what took him to the next level. So yes, it, it is for a financial, you know, benefit, you could say, but the people you meet, like will take you to the next level and you get in the room like there's going to be people that are not your cup of tea and that's fine but like when you stand in your purpose and you stand in who you are you will attract that like-minded that's why with Aaron and Sari I'm just like they're right up our alley like I know I always on the side of making comments whenever we're on zooms and I'm just like whatever they're preaching is 100% like how we preach. You know what I mean? Like they could just, they just speak in our language. We're talking the same like wavelength. So again, that is truly like what pays us really is the community um, outside of everything else. Yeah, I saw um, in the comments, all businesses are pyramids. I mean, that's absolutely true. Um, you know, you got your employees and you have your managers and whatever it is up there, but I, I want to build a pyramid of powerful people. Think about that, you know, build a pyramid of powerful people. People have the stigma, this, this negative uh, word to pyramid scheme and all of this stuff. We're just, we're adding value to people. You know, we can pay it off efforts. If we don't say anything or, or, or whatever, however you guys want to shape it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to put it as a positive. Because if I have, you seen pyramids, they're beautiful. You ever seen a pyramid? They're beautiful, okay? If you haven't seen a pyramid, <laughs> put it on your to-do list this year, 2021, go see a pyramid. They're beautiful. Beautiful pyramid of powerful people, okay? And I, I'm t I'm t I take the positive out of everything, okay? Where I'm from, you... I saw stuff I wasn't supposed to see as a kid, but I'm taking the positives out of everything that I do. And I'm gonna run with that positive perspective. I love that. So Antonio got that productive paranoia going on. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm scared to go back where you came from. Oh, hell no. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. 
so so I want to hear from you guys because you guys weren't always a part of Team X and D, and you chose to transition into Team X and D. I want to learn why did you guys choose <laughs> Team X and D specifically? Because um, for anybody who knows a little bit about network marketing, there are literally thousands of companies out there, you guys. Um, we truly believe that there is none like um, X Endurance. We've been supporting X Endurance before it became, um, you know, multi -level a marketing. multi level marketing. Aaron introduced me to it. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys. Why did you choose to join Team XMB? And before that, I just want to ask if anybody has any questions, just drop them in the comments. Like, if you guys have any questions for these two, they're awesome. They are speaking the ENS Army kind of language. Um, so, drop those in the comments. I'll let her go on this because she <laughs> she nailed it. I mean, I have my reasons, but she nails it. Yeah, so I think when it's important to with network marketing, like the first company that I came in contact was our previous company that we were in. So when you find this company, it's like, it's the truth because all of a sudden you come from, you know, being desperate and then you're introduced to a company that there's all these inspiring people and they have what you want. It's like, it just becomes the truth. And you're like, wow, like there's nothing better. And, and you don't really go searching because your cup is full and you know, you're selling these products, you're taking these products, you're getting results. So you're like, okay, like, this is great. Like I must be really healthy. So I, I actually got a kidney stone. I was you know, driving, going to do a beach workout in Huntington Beach. And I, on the car ride there, I get a kidney stone and I'm driving. And if you've ever passed a kidney stone, those things are extremely painful. And basically the reason I tell that story is because when I went to the doctor and they were doing all these scans, they were literally just like, you know, do you, you know, do you drink enough water? Do you have any kidney problems? And long story short, my doctor was like, what are you taking? So I brought in my products. I showed her and she's like, you have a really high um, sucralose intake and, you know, artificial sweetener intake in a day. And I was like, what do you mean? Like my products are, they check out, they're healthy, they taste good, but they're not loaded with sugar. It only said like seven grams of sugar in my, <laughs> my drink. Why, you know, I had no idea. So she's like, okay, if you're taking, I had like a, a laundry list of products I'm taking in a day, like 12 products. And she's looking at it. She's like, okay, if you have sucralose in each of these 12 products, when you combine that in a day, that's a lot of sweetener. And I have a feeling that's why you crystallized and you got a kidney stone because I drink a ton of, it was just like abnormal. I drink a ton of water. I was healthy, whatever. So I tell that story because that's what made me start questioning what's in my products. Then it came to the point where we were introduced to X Endurance and I was like researching on the side because I didn't want to feel like I was cheating on my company. And I didn't even tell him. I like kind of was just like, let me like, I, I want to know the evidence and the facts before I make any decision, right? So for about a month, I was like secretly like looking at this, you know, company. And then one day he comes to me and he's like, babe, I talked to so-and-so and they told me about X Endurance and I know you're really set on this other company, but I just want, and he didn't know that I was already researching this other company. And so I basically stopped him and was like, babe, like I've already checked it out. Like the products check out, like they just check out. And I don't know what to say because my parents are like, have been involved in this previous company for 26 years, you know? And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm cheating on my company, you know, and it, it felt wrong because this is all I knew. And so anyways, um, we got on a call, we learned about the products, we learned about the culture and it felt different, but the products were just like, it was so mind blowing to me, the credibility behind it and the years of research and all health products are not built the same was like a really big thing that I realized very soon on. And we both just became super passionate about, if we're going to be in the health industry. We better make sure our products check out 100% with the background, like the checking of that everything is in there, that it's supposed to be in there, that, you know, a protein, a super grade protein is actually what it's supposed to be like that, that aligns to with our integrity. And um, it was kind of just like a wake up call where we're like, we're these people that care about people. We have integrity. We, we want the truth. We want to bring the truth to our people and we're kind of doing them a disservice. It's kind of like a disgrace to them and it's a disgrace to us. And so we kind of scaled back 
and we immersed ourselves in this culture. It was definitely, um, we went from this huge company with thousands and thousands of distributors and that tanked with, you know, some, some things that happened there, but, you know, we came over here and it was like more humble. It was a smaller company. It was these products checked out though. And we were like, you know, I kind of like that. I kind of like that we can be in a smaller community of people who, um, or like-minded, we could align ourselves, but we could also like take these products and they checked out 100%. So really it was the products that brought us in the door, but then the community kept us. So that's why we're here. Everything she said, minus the kidney stones. Uh, <laughs> but for for me, I was, I was losing a lot of people in the last industry because of the super lows. You know, I, I lost a couple friends arguing back and forth. Our super lows, not bad. You know, and they were just like, dude, what are you talking about? Yeah, we um, were so like, <laughs> oh, there's only just a little bit. Just a like, little bit, right? It's, you know? it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom, of, you know. Um, but I started to lose people and I started looking more into the artificial um, sweeteners and ingredients. Cause you know, we, in, in moderation, right? We always say in moderation, you can eat this and do, but when you do this stuff over time, it messes up the gut and the brain. So I did my research, um, I did my research and I was like, damn, okay, reduce lactic acid. Being an ex athlete, I used to, my grandma used to have me drinking pickle juice to get rid of the cramp. So I was like, wait, this product, we got clinical uh, data for years on reducing lactic acid. I'm like, that's huge, right? That's huge. And then the oxidative stress, I thought about my mom and my grandma, right? And so I was like, wait, this is this stuff is legit. So we got on a, a Zoom call with Jason and we said all 10 of our boxes had to be checked off before we moved, right? Everything checked out. You know, the, the people, the product, the positioning that, that we came in in this company, we was like, it's a smaller company, so we get to build this thing from the ground up, right? So there is no fake snake, all that stuff. It'll weed itself out. We came into a company that was, you know, 25 years old, 23 years old at the time, you know, and it was a lot of shaky shit at the bottom of, of what was going on or at the top, however you want to look at it. Yeah. And so we had to, we were just kind of like immersed in that, right? So now we come to a place where, you know, we get to build this thing from the ground up, right? And yeah. um, the opportunity was was great for us, but the products checked out. Uh, I hated hiking. I don't know if you guys, you know, follow me on Instagram, but you'll see me hiking all the time now. But I hated hiking before X and D. But the products, I started taking Extreme Endurance and Fuel 5. Now I can run up and down mountains. Now we have a hiking community, you know? So the, the products, it, it checked out. Like she said, the products brought us in a door but the culture, you know, of, of you guys and the people around it is what keep you, you know, who, who cares about a product at the end of the day when you're surrounded by shit people, you know, um, but it, it just checked out for us. But X Endurance, I mean, it's like a unicorn. Like this, this like it, it, like Lonnie say, how, where did it come from? It shouldn't even be here. It's not even real, right? Because you get so many companies out here that have this. It's like they they try to label you or they try to market it or a certain way, and then you get in, you be like, man, this is not what I what they said that they were, right? Um, but X and D, they mm. just so just so open with you about everything, mm. and um, and, and I love the products. I mean, I'm sure everybody on here taking products before they know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. But um, X and D is, is the truth and we're here for life, you know? So it's it's so easy um, and, and it feels so good to be able to introduce something that you can just stand on, you know, and look people in the eye and be like, this is legit, you know, like do it for yourself. I speak with so much, um, you know, just, I'm straight at people when when it come to this because I'm like, do your research. Go ahead and do your research. Go ahead, I, whatever. Take the time that you need. Do what you need to do. When you when you see that these products check out and everything else makes sense. Yeah, it feels dirty to try to tell people that something's good that you know is not good. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, right? And 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 so it's like, you know, oh, I could sell ice to an Eskimo. I'm like, you have bad integrity. An Eskimo doesn't need ice. They got all the ice in the world, you know? Yeah, right. And, and it's, it gives you so much confidence and comfort to be able to say, go do the research, do anything you want, ask anybody you want, take this stuff to your doctor, you know, any research and you know damn well, like you're going to find all good stuff. 
Yep. Come, come, come back to me when you're ready, yep. you know, yep. and, and there's, I'm so grateful for X Endurance, for Jason and for the whole HQ team, you know, um, you guys, if, if uh, I'm totally going to shamelessly plug it right now, like if you want to create some kind of confidence in your flow of income and you're willing to work for a certain period of time to make that happen, like anybody can legit do this. And, you know, Penny, Michaela, Sari, and myself are a part of a very small group of people, um, leaders in Team X and D, where we're helping to create some foundational baseline ways for people who know nothing about, you know, the science behind the products. Not everybody can speak into the science like, oh, well, this is the super great protein and the BCAAs and the lactate and the oxidative stress and the whatever. Like, but how to be able to come in as a normal human being and represent something that you've taken that's changed your life that you believe in. Um, so, you know, if you guys feel this in your heart, like please reach out to any of us because we want to help you to succeed. You guys, when, when you win, so do we. It's such a beautiful, people are like, oh, MLM's dumb. I'm like, no, people are dumb in MLM companies. So, you know, when you have good integrity and you can truly genuinely want to help somebody else because something helped you, there is nothing wrong with that. And when you know they win and you win and everybody in the, in the circle wins by doing that, it's awesome. Yep. And that's something like Aaron, like what you're saying too, it's, um, you know, just kind of like how you have to be extremely specific with your relationship or your friendship or uh, just the people in your life. When you look at your circle, where are they going to, you know, is it going to defer you from where you need to go? Is it going to take you where you need to go? Is it going to elevate you? Those are questions that you have to ask yourself. And there's a lot of people out there that join this opportunity that, and we, we got burned, you know, being on the other side of it. It's like, if the root of your organization and in network marketing is rotten, the entire tree grows to be rotten as well. And now you have this giant mechanism of a rotten tree that you're a part of that your, your name is on that tree. And you don't want to be labeled as that person who's rotten when you're not, you know what I mean? Cause now you're, now you're backtracking and you have to defend something that's not who you are. And so who you align yourself with and who you choose to do this business with is very important as well. And when you're trying to figure out like, who am I going to align myself with? Who is somebody who shows up, who is who they say they are. And you know what I mean? Like take that time to choose who that person is for you. Yes. When you take that time and you're in alignment and you can operate at a level of certainty instead of like a level of scarcity where you're like being pressured and you have to make a decision fast. I always say, just take your time. You keep doing what you're doing. We'll keep doing what we're doing. But like, if it's a fit, then great. If it's not, then I hope you find the person that, you know, aligns with you and gets you where you need to go. Cause that's really what this is about um, is standing in your truth and when you, when you operate at a level where you're like, this is who I am, this is what I invite into my life, and this is what I don't invite into my life, you're going to turn off and also attract people that are perfectly designed just for you. So, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to be able to get those people that will get you where you need to go, and you will also feel fulfilled in return because you're being aligned with the kind of people that, you know, fill your cup up. So, I hope that makes sense, but it definitely um, is important, you know, who you align yourself with in these network marketing network marketing companies out there. Yeah, I want to ask you guys another question because you guys are, you know, legit pros when it comes to this. Um, you know, because for anybody who doesn't really understand network marketing, you guys have heard us a lot of times talk about, you know, X endurance and how we love the products, which we do. Um, we've, we've spoken about, you know, shamelessly about us being a part of X, Team X and D because it is such an amazing opportunity and it is so much in alignment with what we do and what we teach. And it, you know, the beauty about Team X and D is it is a vehicle for us to teach you guys how to build your own financial freedom while we build that for ourselves. But, you know, a lot of people just have a hard time understanding it because success doesn't happen overnight. 
you know, but for you guys, you know, because you're more experienced in MLM and you, you, ha you know, from other networks as well, people who've created massive success for themselves doing MLM, what is the actual opportunity for anybody who is in team X and D who is like, I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to get myself out there. I'm willing to grind. Yeah. So I would say, I mean, when it comes to team X and D, you can, when I came into this industry, I was, I wasn't, my brain wasn't open to bigger vision. So my vision at the time was like $200 a month would change my life. If I could fill my gas tank, like I'd be thrilled, you know? And I remember like a mentor was like, what is your dream number every month? And like her dream was like, you know, a hundred and whatever thousand dollars a month. And I'm like, $400 a month would change my life, you know? And to be honest with you, it really did. You know, it did change my life to have that extra $400 that I broke it down. And I was like, okay, I have two hours a week to give to this. I'm going to swing at this two hours a week. And I literally split it up 30 minutes at a time, you know, four days a week. And I made that money. And the thing is at that time, it served its purpose. And then it started to become now, let me just duplicate that system of two hours a week. Let me add another two hours. So let me make this four hours a week and let me double that, that number. And let me see. And the thing that I think that a lot of people think with this industry is that I think they believe that, you know, their sale, you know, or something that they purchased through our team is going to take us to the next level. And we're doing this because we're like schemey or we want something out of it. But the truth is, if you want to have a significant income, you have to influence a significant amount of people in your organization to get to that level. So your purchase of like some, some, you know, packs here and there. Okay, great. But you know, at the, at the end of the day, if you're making, you know, six figures in, in a business like this, you have to have the community to align with what you're doing. Um, and that's something that's very evident that, you know, you can't really go to the next level without the, the people and really proving that you have the community and the tribe that's going to come with you and you have to build them up. It's kind of like we get to build this business and get financial freedom and work towards that, but we're also going to take people with us. We're not going to be the kind of people that we're going to try to strive for financial freedom and then everybody's going broke trying to buy products off of us. And now we're making all this money. Like the top is a lonely place. And if you're wanting to be at the top by yourself, you can go to another, you know, opportunity, but in network marketing, and especially with X endurance, everybody's rooting for each other and they want each other to win. So I want to be at the top with all my fellow people too. you know, all the people that, you know, talk to me about the debt that they're in cringing debt or working a nine to five and not having that time with their kids or their partner or whatever that may be to know that you're at the top and you can look around and see all your people, that's when you know you're winning and that's when you know you're in the right spot. If you're the only one up there and you're looking down at your people, like you're not in the right opportunity and you're not in the right spot. So, you know, that's something that I believe we have with X Endurance and being a part of Team X and D. It's like every day I'm like, who am I gonna connect with? Because, you, you know, Aaron and Sarit, we don't, we don't benefit off of each other, but we're getting so much, so many nuggets, so many things from each other and building off of that. And that helps us get to where we need to go. And I know vice versa. So we do benefit from each other, right? Because of that monetarily, we don't, we're on completely separate teams, right? right. Yes. Team, but we're all on the same team. Team. Yep. Right. And, and it's lonely at the top, unless you bring people with you. Yep. And we bring in people with us and this integrity, you have to lead with integrity. You know, I mean, there's there's people that's going to sniff it out before you even talk to them. But when it's you true. lead with integrity and you really live in it, like you you care for people. That's that's all it is. It, that's what this business is, is caring for people, really genuinely caring for others. But I I started 30 minutes a day. I don't know if anybody is like strapped for time on this call, but I started 30 minutes a day working two jobs with kids. You can you barely get sleep. You barely get a meal in, right? So 30 minutes from home to my drive to work was, I was on the phone with my mentor on a three-way call. Hey, I want you to talk to this person. I'll put it on mute and I'll listen to, every, I'll introduce them and I'll put it on mute and I'm listening to everything that they're saying. That's how I built this business. 30 minute car ride, 
from home to work. And that was it. And that 30 minutes started to open up more time, you know, for, for myself. So anybody on here say, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I mean, you got a car ride. I'm, I'm pretty sure Aaron and Sharif will hop on a call with you, a three-way call while you're driving to work. And, and, and what I did was be a professional introducer. That's what I came in. I was a professional introducer. I was introducing those people in to, to my mentor, right? Building those relationships. So while I'm at work, my mentor is talking to, you know, those person, those people that I was introducing them to and building that relationship. So when I got off work, it was like, oh my God, thank you for that connection, right? So th those connections started to build everything. And now we have, we have, we have a massive team of, of people that, that want more out of life, you know, and we're in the trenches with them. We're in the trenches with them. So it's like, you're not alone in this thing, you know, and that's what I love about it. You are not alone. You have so many people that's rooting for you and that want the best for you. Not just, oh, let me just sell you a protein. You know, like, it's, it's like, how can I be a solution? How can I, how can I make your life work? There's people that come into your life and, you know, it just doesn't work. But it's like, how can I make your life work while I'm in it? You know what I'm saying? Because if it doesn't work while I'm in it, then I don't need to be in it, right? Then it's just, it's, it's just so much negative for both of us, time, um, you know, trust, all of that stuff. So it's like, how can I make your life work while I'm in it? And that's what it comes down to. 100%. Love that. Love that. Um, I dropped earlier, I dropped both of your guys' Instagrams. If you guys want to see, follow, find them on Instagram, see what they're up to, what they're doing. Fantastic people. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on Espresso with Aaron and Sarit. Um, so any any other? Yeah, questions? I've got one more question for you guys. Knowing what you know about net, uh, multi-level marketing, where do you see X Endurance going as a company in the multi-level marketing industry over the next 20 years? And where do you Ooh. see yourself going with it? Wow. Ooh, this is big. I yeah. like numbers too, so you can drop some numbers. This is this is big because, wow. because I feel like there's gonna be this massive wave of all these fraud companies getting exposed. And, yeah. and it's coming. I feel like it's coming. Um, like because, COVID, it's coming. <laughs> like, <laughs> like COVID is coming. And and, and it's, it feels so good to, to stand on something so solid, firm. Um, but I, I, can't, I don't know the numbers, but they're going to be up there. Like people are starting to see it. People, people are starting to see what we're doing. Um, and they start to see the integrity behind the science. In, in what this is, the integrity with the people um, and really holding on to something because like with, with X Endurance, it's like you get the support that you need, not just in products, but in life, you know, like some people don't get support at their jobs. They don't, they don't get support in their homes. They don't get support in their relationships. They don't get support in these places that they're looking, but X and D, you can come and get that support that you need. So it, I don't know a number, but it's up there. Oh, I'm like, like I'm already like it is up there because I mean we they, they doing it the right way. You yeah. know, they don't cut corners. Yeah. And that's one that's one big thing about uh, the a lot of companies out there, they cut corners to kind of get you to, you know, to to buy into what they're doing. Um, but if it doesn't align with where you're going, then you're always gonna hit that dead end. You know, yeah. trying to take that shortcut, you're gonna hit a dead end and just stay on path. It, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's, it's gonna be big. And, yeah. and this is why we um, uh, jumped in this. We took our time, but this is why we uh, uh, decided to align ourselves with this mm -hmm. because we get to build this thing from the ground up and we know that it's gonna be really big. Yep. And I also think too, it's like, I mean, I, I think it's going to be a billion dollar company. Like, I'm just going to throw that out there. I think it's like legitimately, this is going to disrupt the industry. That's like the biggest thing that I always say, like, this is a disruption right now. And with this company, like most of the time with MLMs, what we've seen and, you know, network marketing and people, they, they tend to pitch the opportunity. So it's like, get in because this is an opportunity and then let me plug you in with the culture and then here's some products on the side. But here, this is, here's some products, 
Here's the clinicals behind it. Here's the integrity behind it. Now let me show you this culture and then let me show you the opportunity. So it's a disruption completely because now it's more about, okay, what are you selling? What are you actually selling? And would I sell this for free? That's like something that's really real for us is he said something and it kind of hit the nail on the head. Would we do this for free? Like just in our community, you know what I mean? Would we introduce just kind of like how we say, and he always uses this um, analogy, like I invite people to go to the movies all the time and say, hey, you've never seen this movie before, but like, I'm going to invite you to it. What do you want to come? Some people will spend the $10 and say, you know, I'm going to come and see what it's about. And some people are like, let me research what the movie is. Let me watch the trailer. Let me do all this stuff before I go see the movie. It's kind of like the same thing here. Like a lot of the times we're just like, hey, just try it, try it on, see if it fits for you. If it's not a fit, then it's not a fit. But you have to love what you're selling. The, the center of the whole thing has to check out. And that's why I'm so confident in saying where this is going to go, because there's really no um, potholes to fall through, really, when you have something that checks out the way it does and you have the culture and you really just have people that you know I know Aaron and Sari and, and Tone you guys will agree with me like with this culture the people that we come across they're just they really just care about people like they're they're everyday people who are super genuine who are just like moms and dads and husbands and wives and single like they just really want to do something to make them feel good at the end of the day and it's not somebody who's like over here being a poser, you know, in their Ferrari, you know, like that doesn't, that's not, that's not a thing. So, you know what I mean? Like these people are everyday people and, and it's nice to align yourself with people that you can see yourself in, you know, and it, it just represents our hearts a lot. Yes. Share what you believe in. That's what this is. Share what you believe in. You know, I, I believe in what we're sharing. Um, not just going out there, hey, buy this and, you know, don't really believe it. But that's what we do. People are like, oh, you're a salesman. Hey, you, you sell stuff every day. You start selling that shirt you got on right now. You selling those glasses you got on right now. You selling your car. Every time you get in and drive it, you're selling it, right? Selling means to give information. It's, you know, yeah. you're sharing what you believe in. And then this is what we do every single day. I love sharing what I believe in. You know, it, it makes it makes so much sense. And women do it naturally. Oh my God, where did your nails, girl? You know, <laughs> where did you get your hair done? And then you telling people, you know, where you got your hair done, where you getting your, your nails done and your the purse and the shoes and whatever it is that you have on and that you're showing um, or you're sharing with the world, that's what it is. So keep sharing what you believe in. Yeah, a lot of times we just, we make it different when there's some kind of like monetary something attached to the back end of it, right? Um, that like now somehow we're a bad person, but mm -hmm. when you, when you ask somebody, you want to go to the movie, you're selling them on going to the movie with you. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to share something with you guys. Cause we're, we're big dreamers and we have this fancy planner right here. Mm -hmm. And every single day I write down what my goals are. Mm -hmm. And every single day I write 100 K a month XND. And so I, I say that because if I keep it in my mind, I know eventually it's going to happen. And the only way that it's going to happen is if all y'all are successful too. Yep. Yep. You don't make that money on accident. I'll tell you that right now. So the thing, <laughs> the thing with this is it shows how many people you're adding value to. Yeah. Right? Yep. You know, that hundred K means you're making an impact in so many people's lives. That's the win, right? That's the 100K right there. The impact you're making, the positive impact you're making in people's lives. Yep. That goes a long yep. way. It's That's like hundreds and hundreds of people on a little bit of product. And, and the truth is like, it becomes like a referral. It's just like how we refer restaurants it becomes like a referral business. You know what I mean? And it really, it's very natural and organic the way that we share things, you know? So like, like we're saying, it does not happen on accident. You have to have um, some manifesting, lots of planners and trial and error. It's, it's a lot of swinging the bat and sometimes failing and sometimes, you know, getting some wins here and there. But like we, we always like look at things in 30, 60, 90 days, like sprint outs. And 
people in their businesses and other ventures. I even, I talked to a girl recently who's in a corporate America space and they do the same thing. You know, you have to have a grind out period where you sit with yourself, you sit with your goals, you sit with a planner. And um, when you look at high functioning individuals that have what you want, most of the time they're immersing themselves in podcasts, in conversations like this, in journaling, in um, vision boards, like that personal development stuff. And we didn't really get into that, but the personal development stuff that you do for yourself is the most important thing in your business because you know, you can't, you're going to be rejected. You're going to have no's. You're going to have people that are not right now. So you're going to have people that tear you down, but you have to stand confident in where you're going and your vision and your dream. And like Aaron and Sari, you guys are dreamers. You guys know where you're going and where you're not going. And I have no doubt where you're going because you sound you, you stand in that certainty but um like i'm saying like to be at where you're you guys are at you guys had to sit with yourself and your goals even just to get where you guys are right now and you're going to have to continue to do that as you grow through this business and that that pertains just to life you know what i mean you sit down you make a plan you make it happen yeah. um there's going to be trials and errors and all the things but um Fail. definitely the personal development is so important because when you get rejected how do you take that rejection that determines where you go in this business you know how many times this man gets rejected you know how many people he gets on board but you know how many times he also gets rejected because he has blinders like a horse like those blinders are just like i am going i don't see what's behind me they might say no they might, they're most of the time, not right now. They, they loop back around. Like it might be a couple months. It might be a couple weeks, days, years, who knows, but he's still going with those blinders, whether you say no or not, we're still on a mission. And yeah. that's like the integrity. And that that's a good confidence booster too, to know that you have blinders on. And that person, like when you can look at a person and be like, they've been swinging at this thing for two, five, 10 years. Like you're like, wow, they're still going. And the thing is, it's really hard to find consistent people nowadays. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you might find people that are good for a couple months, but I'm like, I want to see you do this thing for 10 years. Let me see you 10 years down from the line. Are you going to be still doing the same thing? So that, that yeah, really gives people confidence. Sorry, babe. Go ahead. No, people <laughs> always watching what you do. So if they say no, I mean, I don't call it rejection. They just blocking their blessings. <laughs> you know, they're blocking their own blessings at the time, you know, because this is, this is an amazing opportunity um, to get yourself healthy. And that's where it starts. If you're not healthy, then it's, it's, it, you really can't go anywhere from there. I don't care how successful you are. You know, it's an inside out wellness job, you know, the personal development. And so, you know, I, I love when people tell me no, because that's part of the process. You know, if I like, I can't control the yeses or the noes. I can't, I can't control how many people say yes, how many people say no, but I can control how many people that I talk to and that I introduce to this, right? And that's all I focus on. Who can I talk to? Who can I add value to? I have a long list of people that line up in so many different categories, but it's a blessing, you know, and we doing the world a disservice for not, not even telling people about this. Yeah. Like, I mean, who do you know that need health? Yep. And that was another you know? thing, I'm gonna loop back around, I swear, but that was another thing, like if you're rooted in insecurity, like I was rooted in insecurity, so I didn't share this opportunity. I was losing weight, I was getting results. And I had friends like literally sit me down at lunch and be like, it's kind of rude that you're losing all this weight. We wanna know what you're doing and you're not telling us. Because like, I was, they're just kind of like, you know, what are you doing? And it's kind of like selfish, you know? And I, I didn't look at it in that way, I thought because again, I'm rooted in insecurity. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to say no. Oh my gosh, I'm a burden. They're going to, you know what I mean? And the thing was, I wasn't really looking at it from a standpoint and a perspective of, let me offer somebody a solution. Let me give somebody a blessing when like, I'm kind of giving you a safety raft right here and you're drowning and I know I have it. You're drowning and I'm watching you. You know what I mean? At least let me give it to you and you can choose if you want to take it or leave it but I always give the safety raft because I, you never know who's drowning and who's not. Cause I remember one time this lady saying, why is it? And, and that was another thing. I would only share products with this lady. And she told me, she like had a second mortgage on her house taken out. She's like, why didn't you tell me about this opportunity? You know, like 
you're selling these products, you're doing really well with it. I see the community. I'm only taking products. Like, is there a business for me? Cause I'm struggling, you know? And I kind of felt bad, like, wow, I, I didn't share it with her. Cause I predetermined her opportunity before I even spoke to her. You know what I mean? So you, you got to put it out there and let them either receive it or not. Um, and at least stand in confidence, you know? No means you're asking. And the more times you get told no, that, that that's a confirmation that you're doing, you're on the right path. Yep. Keep shooting, keep shooting. You miss, you miss, keep shooting. Yep. You know, like you, you can't score if you don't shoot, can't score if you don't swing, you know, just keep swinging, keep going at it. I mean, I, I love it because it, it shows, it shows what you're willing to, to do and what you're willing to go through, but you have to grow in order to go up like you have to if you don't grow it then and you're not going to go anywhere in this business so it, it takes a lot of looking in the mirror um it, it's it's a lot of um you know unlearning to relearn you know coming from oakland i have to unlearn a lot of the things that i was doing and relearn them all over again you know um or a different way or having a different perspective and in, in doing things so you know, personal development plays a big part in everything that we do, and you have to grow within. Um, but unlearning to relearn was real huge for me. Amen. Love that. You guys, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, this is like a treat. This is such a treat. Like we woke up like, <laughs> I'm not a morning person, you guys, but I was up and ready to attack my Friday because these <laughs> girls are these girls are on fire. I mean, everyone, our team is like obsessed with your tribe. They really are. They're like Aaron and Sarit. Like we always talk about you guys. So you guys are like, you know, royalty over yes. here. No, it's thank, an honor. Thank you for the opportunity, you know, to be able to, to share. Hopefully you guys got some nuggets today and um, you go out there and dominate your Friday. Happy Friday. I know a lot of people say good morning, you know, but I say happy whatever day it is, you know, because morning sounds like morning, right? And I don't want to mourn. You know, um, so happy Friday to everybody in here. Um, hopefully you guys go out there and dominate your day. Um, I love you all. I can't wait to, you know, do more life with you guys. So I see y'all at the summit. I know I, I, know I see a, a lot of y'all at the summit. I can't who's wait to coming to the summit. Who already got their ticket? Type yes. I want to see who's coming. And I, and I want to see who's excited that Michaela and Antonio are here with us today. Guys, this was last minute. The people who we were supposed to have here don't know where they went. These two, we said, hey, you want to be on an interview? They're like, sign us up. We're there. Yeah, action takers. I love that. It's so much and fun. It's, nothing happens by accident. So thank you guys for being here. It was a pleasure. One more thing about the summit. You guys, you've heard them say it. And, and our mentor, Grant, says it all the time, too. The most important thing in life, you guys, is to get in the right room with the right people. The X and D Summit, what, what's the investment? Like 200 bucks or something like that? So what you're gonna get out of it, if you, if you have a billionaire's mindset, is fast track to billions of dollars because you're giving yourself the opportunity to think that way and to get in a room with people who think that way too. Don't look at the price uh, at the price tag. Look at the opportunity. Give you give away a couple hundred so you have the opportunity to receive a couple thousand. Amen. Yeah. You have to put out to receive. That's what I always say. I'm like, you have to stand on something before the universe gives you something back. Like stand in some kind of decision, confidence, something. Give them something because you will always get more than you ever could have expected. I promise you. So. Absolutely. And for anybody who listened to it, who is not on Team X and D, but you're intrigued by the opportunity or interested, please do us a favor and email admin at erinandsarit.com. Um, and we'd be happy to guide you in the right direction. Whether you join or not, we are very fierce about the team that we're building. And a bunch of you guys are already on the team. Um, this is about making you guys successful. And if we do it well, then we will become successful. Yes. This is not for us. This is for you guys. Um, Antonio and Michaela, once again, thank you so much for your time. Happy you. Friday. Have an amazing uh, weekend. And for those of you guys listening, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for taking your time. 
to tune in this morning. Have a great weekend, you guys. We will catch you back on Monday. Take care, everybody. Have All a great, right. Right. Have have a a great morning, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Happy Friday. Bye. Yes.